Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about head tennis rackets ranging from the instinct, extreme, speed, gravity, radical and prestige. Prestige is the low, most low powered, you add a bit more power with the radical and a bit more power and spin, then you go out to the gravity with a bigger sweet spot, then you have the speed which is kind of in the middle, a more comfortable frame, then the instinct up more powerful and spin friendly than a radical for example then you have the extreme which is all about top spin generating more spin having more of a vertical uh, racket movement and at the most power level you have instinct head has a cpi scale where they put the power between 100 to a thousand uh, it's good to understand that scale we will look at all their different rackets head has a lot of rackets in their range so it's one of the most complicated brands to understand the differences between different rackets i have a lot of comparison videos on this channel so you can check that out if you want to understand what's the gravity pro versus prestige mp and so on but i will also go through the rackets um, and talk a bit more about them each model that's listed on tennis warehouse uh, one of our affiliates uh, so if you want to buy a racket, please use the links in the description below and a small commission goes to Tennis Nerd and uh, we can keep on doing these videos to bring out more understanding in tennis rackets, hopefully. Um, so, head tennis rackets, Prestige is the most low powered, Instinct is the most power you can get in a racket. Usually they have a bunch of different models for each of these lines. So if you look at the Prestige, they have the MP, the Pro, the Mid, the Tour and the S. So a lot of different prestige rackets only where the mid is the most low powered. Then you have the MP, then the Pro, then the Tour and then the S. And the S line is generally in head rackets, a bit more of a tweener style racket with a bigger head size, sometimes an oversized head size and uh, with a bit more power. The MP is kind of the standard model, the mid plus is the standard model of all their lines. And then Pro is usually where you for a bit more advanced players with a bit more weight, tighter string pattern, and you can have the Extreme Pro which has a tighter string par pattern than the MP and more weight. Same with the Speed Pro with a tighter string pattern and more weight. Hopefully uh, going through Tennis Warehouse website, looking at the different models and explaining what the differences are, looking at the head CPI scale, uh, we can get through the bottom of head rackets and give you a bit more understanding of it. Hope you like this video, uh, please subscribe, tell your tennis friends about Tennis Nerd, also turn on notifications so you know when I upload. If you have any ideas of content you would like to see, please share them with me in the comments below. I read all the comments and so um, I, I have ideas of how I can uh, improve my content. If you need help choosing a tennis racket, uh, check out my consultation service either via video call or an email check that out on tennisnerd.net slash shop and uh, if you want to support tennis nerd and get more content you become a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd all right so we're at the tennis warehouse website let's go and have a look at head rackets it's perhaps the most complicated brand because they have so many different rackets as i've said so they have uh, radical prestige speed extreme gravity and um instinct so uh, you can go through their uh, videos choosing a head racket you can also see their power um, and other category performance analysis tool so these have they have some pretty cool tools from tennis warehouse university uh, you see the different swing weights on average of their rackets and so on so these are pretty useful as well you can see the different families here which is the different series of rackets you have gravity speed radical prestige extreme you have the Legend Pro Tour 2.0. I think we should go in the order of power and we should start with the Instinct, which is the most powerful one. That's the pure drive of the head rackets. We'll see that they don't have that many rackets in the Instinct line, which makes it a little bit easier. They have the Instinct MP, which is the base model. That's the pure drive or the Wilson Ultra, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, pretty interesting that 
power rackets are usually blue. So the 360 Plus Instinct, um, powerful racket, uh, pretty easy to use, easy to swing, low swing weight. If you want a lighter racket with a bigger head size for more sweet spot, more power, you go with the Instinct Light or even the Instinct Power, and that's 115 square inches. So this one is very powerful. But if we look at the Instinct MP, we can scroll down to the specs. Uh, we see 100 square inches. This is the standard model, 27 inches. Strong weight, 315 grams. These are 300 grams on strong. And uh, balance is always for these types of models around 4.7 light when you add strings. Swing weight, 314. The specs here might differ. Depends on the strings they've used, of course. Uh, these are averages from a Tennis Warehouse. Stiffness, when you add strings, is 64, so it's not that stiff for a power racket. So that's a good thing. Um, if you look at other lines, they usually have a stiffness around 70 uh, or at least high 60, 69. This is pretty low, so uh, well done there. 23, 26, 23, it's a pretty standard beam width. 1619, this is what's the most common string pattern for these 100 square inch rackets these days. Point and shoot, easy power. The spin line is extreme. These are pretty extreme in both power and spin. You have the extreme MP, which is very similar to Instinct. Uh, has kind of spin grommets to generate more movement of the main strings. If we look at the, the racket and the specs, we can see it's a little bit stiffer even than the Instinct but it has a thinner beam and in the shaft because of an aerodynamic reason, a bit more swing weight. So a little bit beefier to swing, otherwise 1619. So this is more about getting spin on the ball. Still pretty easy racket to use, works for a lower level to medium level intermediate players. That's the extreme, it's all about spin. They have an extreme tour, which is more for advanced players. Used on tour actually by guys like Lorenzo Musetti. They're customized, of course, uh, but uh, it's used by him. I think also Juan Manuel Ferrundolo uh, is using the Extreme Tour, if I'm not mistaken. So it's become a quite popular racket. This one is uh, 98 square inches and uh, over 60, 19 patterns, so more control from the Extreme Tour. If you don't want all that power that's in the Extreme MP, you have the light versions, power version, when you're getting up to 115 square inch head size, an extended length, this is extreme power, uh, literally extreme power. Then you have the Extreme S. What I'm surprised I'm not seeing here uh, is the Extreme Pro. Maybe it's not available in the US uh, or uh, something has happened to that racket because the Extreme Pro has a tighter string pattern and it's available on Tennis Warehouse Europe. Uh, so uh, I will, that's an, uh, my favorite racket of the Extreme line. So if we have a look at head on Tennis Warehouse Europe, we might find this frame. Um, yeah, Extreme Pro, here we go. So this frame is heavier, so 332 strong weight, unstrung weight is, is listed here, which is great. 315 grams, pretty heavy racket for, for most players, but if you're an advanced player, I think you, you can handle this. And um, a little bit more headlight balance to compensate the extra weight. Uh, a little bit lower stiffness. This is the more advanced player version of the, of the extreme line that still wants the power. Uh, so you go with the Pro or the Tour. Let's go to the uh, speed line. So now they've released the blacked out editions uh, to please Novak Djokovic, who doesn't like to play with the white racket. And they have the MP, which is always the, the base model kind of, and the Pro, which has a tighter string pattern, 1820, and a bit more weight, 310 grams. And, uh, but this, these rackets, if we look at the Pro, you will see what makes the, the speed line a bit different. Quite low stiffness, 62, pretty low these days. Beefy swing weight, close to 330. But here you see that the, the beam is constant. So 23 millimeters throughout meaning that it has a little bit more uh, flex, but it's also faster through the air because of the thinner beam. Uh, and the 1820 pattern is what makes the Pro stand out and the extra weight. So the Pro uh, is quite uh, an advanced player frame, I would say. It, it is pretty heavy to swing, but really nice if you like that extra control from the 1820 string pattern. Let's go over to the MP, which is the standard model. It's a little bit stiffer, the MP, for more power. Uh, same beam width and an open pattern. So that's mainly the difference uh, besides the, the 10 grams lower weight. 
Uh, so this is 11.2 ounces with strings, and uh, I think the speed line was was a was a very good update because I played with the previous Speed Pro and and suffered a bit with my elbow with that racket was a bit stiff. But the, the new Speed Pro and Speed MP, I have no issues at all with the stiffness because of the the slightly uh, lower flex. So you have the MP Lite, it's a lighter version, and Speed S, which is even lighter and more powerful. Uh, Speed Lite, you see a lot of different versions here, and the power, which is the, the, that extreme racket, that's pretty much the same for all these lines. So if we look at the, the Speed S, you can see that the stiffness now is bumped up, the beam is thicker, and um, it's a lower weight. So that makes a difference, 6019 still pattern. So that's the speed line. What's next up in, in the different families? The gravity. We have the gravity tour, which is probably the most suitable racket for most, like 4.0, 3.5 to 4.5 players. The Pro is quite a hefty frame, quite uh, difficult to use, but really nice feel. Uh, that's my favorite. Um, not sure am I, if I'm good enough to use it, but it's, it's my favorite of the line. We have the S, which is the most forgiving, 104 square inch racket, 1620 pattern, which I think is great. 1620, it's something I, I would have wished for the Gravity Tour as well. And then we have the MP, which is a little bit more demanding than the S with 100 square inch, but still with this nice 1620 string pattern. And we have a light version as well uh, for more beginner intermediate. If we look at the Gravity Pro and I compare this racket with the Prestige MP uh, in another video, you can see that the the swing weight is high, 332, even more than the Speed Pro, uh, and this thin beam uh, demands some attention here. It's definitely a racket for more advanced players that can generate your own power, because the stiffness doesn't give you a lot of power, it comes more from the weight and the swing weight. And the 1820 doesn't give you a lot of spin either, so it's more for kind of a flatter hitter who likes to be ultra precise from the baseline. Just look at Andre Rublev and Alexander Zverev that play with this style of frame with their different customization. I think Ruble plays with an extended um, racket, but uh, it's it's based on the, the Gravity Pro. Uh, that's the Pro. Let's have a look at the Tour quickly. This is even more arm friendly, so 61 stiffness, a little bit thicker beam for free power, lower swing weight to make it more maneuverable, also 1820 and a lower weight. So the Gravity Tour is kind of the Still an advanced player racket, but it's more forgiving than the Gravity Pro. So it's lighter and faster and giving you a little bit more power. Slightly different frame. Um, a little bit more lively as well. I felt like I got better control with the Pro for sure. The MP, it's 1620 pattern, 100, uh, 295 grams on strong. We don't really need to look at that. It's also pretty low uh, stiffness there. Let's move on to the next uh, family of rackets in the head, nearing the Prestige, which is the most low powered, but the Radical is... The people's racket, as they call it these days uh, in the marketing. Uh, the Pro is the most advanced. Uh, definitely need, requires uh, a more advanced player to be used to its full potential. These frames are 98 square inches. Have has a weight of 315 grams on strung. So you add strings, you get around 15 to 20 grams extra. And swing weight is beefy, 330 it's a little bit stiffer than the gravity line of rackets, so you get a bit more free power, but the head size is smaller, so it's kind of even out a little bit, and the beam is slightly thicker in places. So it has that fast feel and whippy feel of a 20 millimeter beam, but just a little bit more punch uh, with the slightly thicker beam, and a little bit more spin from the 1619 pattern compa compared to the gravity racket. So the, the Radical Pro, for advanced players that play all court tennis, and uh, want to um, get precision, but also some good spins. Very, very modern racket, a racket I really like. The paint job has been discussed before in my reviews. Uh, some people love it, some people don't really. It's a very polarizing paint. The MP, it's a bit easier to use as, as usual. Um, it has similar swing weight actually, a little bit lower, but similar, similar stiffness, but a little bit thicker beam in places. Uh, 1619 there as well and a lower weight so this racket is a little bit easier to swing get around compared to the pro but it's um, it's definitely a nice choice with the quite nice plush feel in the string bed so uh, I thought the MP was actually a little bit easier to use than the pro after playing with them a bit more than I did in the early review and uh, we go to the Radical S finally in the Radical lineup. The S is always a bit more forgiving, always above 100 square inches. This one is 102, 
and it has a low swing weight, so easier to swing, pretty low and forgiving uh, stiffness. So this Radical S is definitely for you who want a lighter racket. You're maybe beginner to intermediate, but you love this you know, paint job and you want a racket that, that uh, is not going all the way to pure drive power or stiffness, but is still giving you a little bit more for free. That would be where the S line in most uh, cases come in. So the head S lines are definitely more forgiving and easier to use than the rest of the rackets. Finally, then we come to the prestige line and that's the, the racket with the most prestige. It's been around for a long time. It's definitely for more advanced players. It has a mid, which is increasingly rare on the market these days. 93 square inches, really, really not a, a kind of spec you see a lot these days. It's pretty stiff still, so you get like, it's not stiff in a, in a harsh way, I would say, but it, it does give you some free power thanks to the stiffness. Beam is nice and thin for you old school players. The weight is, is pretty nice and beefy, around 320 grams unstrung and it has a swing weight around 328. So the Prestige Mid is, is easier to use than most mid-sized rackets and actually a really nice frame. Uh, it's one of the ones I like the most from the, the Prestigious, probably after the MP, which is my favorite. And we can go straight to that one. The MP, that's one of my favorite rackets at the moment. I use that quite a lot. Uh, I like the low stiffness. It has a maneuverable swing weight. Still that nice beam. You do need to generate all your power yourself here. It's it's not a it's pretty low powered racket. 1820 doesn't give you a lot of spin either. But when you you really feel uh, the ball well and it has the really nice pocketing effect, so I, I just enjoy this racket a lot. Although it doesn't maybe make me play my best tennis in terms of pushing my opponent back. But when I'm on with my footwork, this racket really performs well. So. Uh, it's uh, definitely an advanced, advanced player racket, but they made it a bit easier to use than the previous Prestigious. As you can see, as they're right here, it's it's gone from 95 to 98 square inches. So that's uh, an improvement for a bigger sweet spot. And you do feel that sweet spot in this case, I think. Uh, so that's the MP. There's also a Pro, and uh, that's 95 square inches, smaller. That's more the throwback to the older MPs. 1619 bit beefier swing weight, bit thicker beam. This is kind of like a 6195 racket with a bit lower weight. So a strong weight is around 335 to 40 grams. Um, but this racket is really nice. I know a lot of players that like this more than the MP. For me, the MP is, I just prefer the feel a bit more with the MP and the lower flex. But uh, if you want a bit more of a weapon, I think this one is a bit better. You get a bit more pace for free with the Pro, but a lot of control, obviously, from, from this uh, increasingly rare 95 square inch racket. So the Prestige is a Prestige line, quite low powered, quite difficult to use. This Prestige Tour, 99 square inches, so we're nearing tweener territory, low weight, 305 grams. Swing weight, 326, so still quite beefy. It's not for beginners, this racket medium stiffness and give you a bit more power and the fascinating 1819 pattern which is a pattern I really like along with the 1620 gives you some spin some control a good blend of both so um, this racket is interesting it's not I'm not a hundred percent connected to it with the higher stiffness and the bigger head size it doesn't feel a hundred percent like a prestige but it's a prestige that wants to be modern and kind of um, be a bit funkier and add a bit of pace so um, it, it's definitely worth a, a try but it's uh, it's a little bit will have a, like a dual identity thing that it's a prestige, but it's it's a, a modern frame and it kind of competes with rackets like the Extreme Tour, for example, um, where this one is is very close, I think. Uh, the last one is the Prestige S. They don't have it here. Maybe they have it in the Europe. The Prestige S is low weight, 295 grams on strong, swing weight really easy to swing, 64 stiffness, so pretty arm friendly. 99 square inch head size and a 21.5 millimeter beam so this is like a tweener frame in, in a, with a bigger sweet spot but it's pretty low powered so you're getting into kind of this prince phantom territory then you're almost at a gravity in my opinion so it becomes quite confusing and i'm not sure i can give you more ideas unless you really try these rackets side by side but the some of them always blend in for me as well who try a lot of rackets and almost all the rackets that come out that are important I, I mainly try, but this one is um, is a bit, bit hard to place, uh, I, I would say, the Prestige S. So that's head rackets, except for one remainder here. We have the Pro Tour 2.0, 25-year-old or 30-year-old racket that returns. And it's a classic, and it's been a bestseller for them. I can understand why. 
Uh, it's a really fun racket to use, but it's quite difficult to use. It's closer to 95. I don't know why it's listed as 97. Head used to measure it uh, the other way around. So they used to measure the outside and not the inside of the frame like the other manufacturers. So from some years back, uh, head uh, racket head sizes were, were a bit off. Uh, that's why if you see a 98, uh, sometimes it's a 95. So good to keep that in mind when we go back. But nowadays they do it the way the other uh, brands do it. So it's easier. This one, uh, what they did, they have the same beam, but they increased the stiffness a bit to make it a little bit more modern. Still has a nice uh, plush feel. Swing weight quite beefy. So this is not that easy to generate power with either because of the 95 screen head size. But it's just a racket for you who, who loves that really solid and still controlled feel from the head pro tour it's not as good as the old one but that one was very heavy so uh, it's that's uh, this one is a little bit easier to use but still it's it's definitely for you who are a real racket nerd and, and wants to play with the racket that <laughs> lets you do all the work but it does really perform when you put in the work so uh, it's an advanced player racket the most advanced of all the head rackets so that's all about head we've uh, gone through uh, quite a bit. I hope you found this really useful um, to kind of look at all the models they have. They have a lot of rackets, as I said. Uh, there should be a head racket for you out there. They've improved over the years. They've removed some of the stiffer feel that they used to have. Now they're pretty comfortable and plush and uh, quite enjoyable to use. I, I really was a bit off head rackets for many years, but now I'm back and I really enjoy testing them and playing with them uh, and the Prestige MP is my personal favorite but I also like the Gravity Pro for example so there's probably a racket for you uh, no matter what playing style you uh, are okay I hope it uh, clarified some of it uh, I know there's a lot of uh, overlaps and it's not easy to always compare if there are certain rackets you want me to compare write in the comments below and I'll do my best to do so that's all for this video have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis